Here's a little review of some of the properties of exponents. Remember that if we have the same base with multiplication, it's that same base raised to the sum of the powers. So a to the r times a to the s is a to the r plus s. And all that's important here is that it's multiplication and the bases are the same. So if I have an expression like this, 2 to the third times 2 to the fourth, I see the bases are the same, so that's going to simplify to 2 to the sum of these powers, 3 plus 4, which will be 2 to the seventh power. So when I multiply with the same base, I add exponents. Now here I have a product, all in parentheses, raised to the r, r power. That means that each of the two factors inside the parentheses can be raised to the r. a times b raised to the r is the same as a to the r times b to the r. So if I have 5x in parentheses raised to the second power, I can change that to 5 to the second power times x to the second power if I want, if it's convenient. So 5 to the second power is 25, so that will be 25x to the second. So when it's a product raised to a power, it's the product of the two powers. So 5 to the second times x to the second, that'll give me 25x to the second. And one last thing involving multiplication and exponents, if I have a power raised to a power, that is some base raised to the r, all of that raised to the s, I can take that same base a and raise it to the product of those powers. So a to the r, all raised to the s, is the same as a to the r times s. So if I had 2 to the third, all of that raised to the fourth, I can simplify that down to 2 to the 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12, so that will be 2 to the 12th power. So when I multiply with the same base, I add exponents. When I have a power raised to another power, I multiply exponents. And when I have a product raised to a power, it's each of the two factors in the product raised to that power. So a little quick review of some multiplication problems with exponents.